Hey guys, Corin King here. I'm gonna show you quickly if you got a lot of water here. It's and leaking from around the handle here in the multiport valve. Oftentimes it's just easier to replace this entire top half instead of uh, trying to rebuild it. So let's go ahead and show you how that's done. Alright, a couple things we'll need for the job. First one is the replacement lid and handle assembly. You're gonna need a flathead in case you have a hard time prying it up. You're gonna need a Phillips head number two for the screws and then some magic lube. So this isn't a hard job, but there are a couple things to pay attention to to do it safely. The first thing is we gotta depressurize this. So what I like to do is go ahead and take the pump lid off, which I'll do now. And then also I'll go ahead and turn this halfway in between the setting to let the water drain out of here and, and depressurize it. And we need to do it anyways to get to the screws. So let's move on to the next step. So now it's depressurized, we're going to go ahead and just unscrew it. You just keep working your way around until it's all the screws are undone. All right, we got all the screws out now, so now all we need to do, see if we can, oh, it's coming up on its own, and just pull it on out. And there we go, the old one is now removed. All right, guys, so you gotta lube up two points. You got the spider gasket you need to lube up, I already put some lube on here, and also here as well. So make sure you get some magic lube and lube those both up nicely. So now we're gonna go ahead and attach it, bolt it down, and we're that much closer. One tip to tighten these down appropriately is to go ahead and do it in a star pattern. So I start over here and over here and I'm going to work my way around that way. Alright, so last thing we're going to do is just make sure all these are nice and snug. Make sure there's no more room that's tighten them down. I'll make sure this is nice and snug. Alright, they're all solid. Important key when you're operating this multi-port valve is to work in one direction. So I already started counterclockwise. I'm sorry, clockwise, so I'm going to go ahead and work my way around. Set it right there into clockwise, now we should be good to go. Alright, we are up and running 100%, there's no leaks here or anything like that, so it's a job well done. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment in the section below. Have a good day everyone.